Before I say anything, here is a food for thought. Leveling up is not about conforming to stereotype or expectations, but rather about embracing your individuality, pursuing your passion, and making a positive impact in the world around you. Hi guys, good evening, and welcome to day 8 of my consistency challenge on YouTube. Yeah, today is not a live session because network has been messing up and so I thought what is the essence of having a lagging video, you know, when I can take it further to recording it and posting it immediately. So yeah, as soon as I'm done recording this video, whether I make error, whether I took a pause, I'll just assume it's also a live session. And so that is how I will post it. And today I want us to talk about leveling up, how we can level up and, you know, feel like we are doing well, whatever age we are, whether in our 20s or in our 30s. So I have some points noted down in my handy dandy notepad here that can be helpful, you know, to you or some points I have personally that personally helps me or guide me and and I would love to share with you. So I read a food for thought, you know, earlier and let's just start with that. And let's dissect that food for thought before I go on with the point I have mentioned. So the first leveling up is not about conforming to stereotypes. You know, um, as a human being generally, in the environment we are, there is some some certain expectations of us. Um, for let me take a woman's life for example, you're expected to you know, start growing up, go to school, after school, get married, get a job and live happily, ever, get a job, you know, give birth and live happily ever after. And okay, if I'm to like break it down for that, they'll say we could build a house, buy a car. You, do you understand? These are stereotypes. But oftentimes, life don't happen this way. And it, it mustn't, it shouldn't happen this way. Life is, the way I see life Life should all should be all about happiness and the moment. You understand? So whatever makes you happy, always do like always look out for the moment and and the happiness that you can find in the moment. And that's like one thing that can help you feel like you have leveled up or feel like you are doing what you're supposed to do at your age. And so avoid stereotype. Don't allow it's a hot evening actually and setting up i had to like do some if you notice the background stuff is kind of a little bit um rearranged and that's why i'm sweating here so if you if you align yourself to stereotype you find out that you're being ruled or being controlled by what other people think about you and not necessarily what brings happiness to you so you can yes you can level up and still be original and not and also still have the love of the people around you without being rude or cutting off relationship or burning bridges and that exactly is what we want to discuss today so the first thing i noted here is self discovery this is a huge thing you need to know yourself and knowing oneself starts from you know that um, teenage towards adult age and if at all you feel like you don't know you didn't know yourself around that age group at least in adult to say age 20 and beyond you should be able to like know yourself know your values know your strengths know your passion know and understand what you desire what what you know what you don't what keeps you moving so those knowing your values knowing yourself would help you be more organized help you be more productive in the face of different things happening help you to be that person that it helps you to oh god this is a lot of heat though 
knowing yourself will help you to be that person to yourself. Let me put it that way. Like in every, you know, in the in <laughs> in recent language, like in recent time, everybody wants to be that girl. You want to be that boy. You want to be. Chitosa. By the time you know yourself, do you know that friend? Do you have that friend that always seems to know what she wants and goes for what she wants? Exactly what I'm talking about. So you need to like know yourself. When you know yourself, you know your value, you know your strengths. I know that some people, some of some persons now, if you tell them, please go and what value to money you have, go and open shop. It's an advice. But because they know themselves, they know that they cannot do buying and selling. They know they don't even have the strength. They don't even enjoy doing it. So they know themselves. Those kind of advice, they will not take it. And that is like the very, very fundamental, the very, very number one thing you should know. Or like you should pay attention to when you are leveling up. Sit down. You know, go within yourself. What are my strengths? What are my desires? What are my values? Who do I want to be? What are my aspirations? Who do I look up to? So all these kind of questions will help you understand yourself really. Because I'm sorry to say, a lot of adults still have not discovered themselves. It's it's a huge it's it's like a huge problem that even in adulthood you have not yet understood yourself and so it is not uncommon it but then it can be solved then let me put it that way it can be solved by you know asking yourself and actually and one thing that plays an a role in that is journaling you need to like be able to write things down. When you write these values down, when you write this your strengths down, you, you get you kind of be more able to break down things and understand yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and then um another point I noted is confidence. This you need to be confident to be able to level up and yet be original. If you are not confident, if you're not confident in what you know, confident about yourself, confident about your look, confident about everything about you, events and occurrences can just come up and kind of shake you and make, you know, rubbish, like make you disorganize you, let me put it that way. But then if you're if you understand yourself and you're confident about your ability, you're confident about your yourself, you will be able to maintain that stability and none of those occurrences or events will like throw you off balance. You'd seem that you know when we say that person that is organized, she has a direction in life, you will be that person and Look who is leveling up now. And so, yeah, confidence in yourself is a huge, you know, factor. Right now, there's nothing telling me what the time is. But then I hope that I'm able to meet the 30 minutes mark I want to meet, you know, in my normal life session. Yeah. So then, the third thing I've mentioned here is ambition. In leveling up, you have to do big things. If it is until you start to do big things that you feel like you have leveled up. And so you need to be ambitious, dare to dream, dare to wish for that huge thing. Don't let nobody tell you you're being um, too lofty. You're being over ambitious. If anybody tells you that, find a way to leave that in the presence of that person. Don't ever spend too long in that in the presence of that person. Why? Because that person would influence your thoughts, influence what you think about yourself, and then you begin to think too low. You begin to think too low of yourself. You begin to not have ambition. You feel like truly. The finest things of life don't deserve you, or you don't deserve the finest things of life, which is a lie. With if you're ambitious and you are willing to do what it takes, if you have the discipline for success, you will be able to get anything you want. All right. And so the other thing I mentioned here is what independence, guys. This is this is very important in every aspect of this topic it is very important you need to be somebody that is 
responsible. Take responsibility for your thoughts. Take responsibilities for your actions. Take responsibilities for your inactions. All right? What that means is that whatever is the result of your thinking, whatever is the result of your actions or decisions, whatever is the result of you not even acting, take responsibility. Accept responsibility. That way, you are practicing independence. I'm not saying be foolish and not learn and not listen, but then a lot of time, people, you know, people wait till people tell them what to do. People, like, basically, they, they, they are just there until you tell them do this, until they are, this is how you can do it. Meet this person. Why don't you dress up? Why don't you take your bath today? Why don't you meet with this? Why don't you meet, you know, mingle with these people? Why don't you hang out? And there are people like that. If you don't tell them what to do, they will never, like, stand up and do something for themselves and so you need to have a level of independence to be able to level up and be original if you're if you're the type that if you're a freeloader is it freeloader it's called yeah you type that like just basically leeching on people just being on the sidelines so long as i'm able to, so long as you are able to eat you are fine so long as the person the person you are leeching on is able to give you chicken change to spend you are fine no if you are in the process or attempting to level up your life and yet be original independence is one thing you must learn whatever that means to you even if it means you leaving your parents house to get your own place even if it means living of living your friend's house finally to get your own place whatever that means to you you need to like be independent listen up you don't you shouldn't be foolish while trying to be independent because a lot of people can like um do it the irresponsible way like i told you being independent involves being responsible so you cannot just you need to be strategic if you are taking decisions but uh, in the end, let your decision lead you towards independence and self-sophistication. Fine, you, I don't advise being an island of your own or not asking for help, but don't live your life leeching off other people or waiting for people to tell you what to do or how to take decisions for your life. You can always listen to advice, but it, it's left to you to come back and you know ruminate on what you have been told and pick pick the ones that work in your life, the ones that work for you, and discard the rest, of course, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Always learn to follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. God is always leading, but we need to be able to listen. We need to be able to, yeah, understand where God is. We not, may, may not be understand, but we need to be able to, like, obey um, be, be obedient to God's guidance, surrender to God's guidance, and yeah, so being independent plays a huge, huge role in leveling up. Okay, so one other thing is you need to educate yourself and grow. Guys, if you say you want to level up this year, if you say you want to feel like you want to feel like your mate, or even you want to feel like you have you are doing well in life and you're not learning and you're not growing, then you've not started. You've not started. If at all you are leveling up, I might even, I, in fact, I, I think I should have even mentioned this first. You need to educate yourself. You need to learn. You need to be in the midst of people that know more than you. Look, if you're in a room and you're the only smart person there or you're the smartest person there, that's not a good crowd. Find your way out of that place. You need to find yourself or and network with people that know more than you, people that that are richer than you. That does not mean that you cannot have that you are richer than or that you know more than is still in that crowd. But at least you shouldn't be the richest. You shouldn't be the wisest. You shouldn't be the most successful. You shouldn't. Do you understand? You need to seek to seek to be educated. You need to seek to grow. And thank God for the digital aid. aid age oh god thank god for the digital age there are a lot of information out there youtube is a great resource you can always come and learn something and okay at least you're learning how to level up now so 
you can always come head over to youtube uh, is there anything you want to learn about <laughs> is there anything you want to google to, like learn about today that if you ask google at least you know a certain kind of explanation will be given on that very question you ask so learn to ask google and learn learn from you know take courses educate yourself go for your masters go for your you know degree but what's it called go for your degrees whatever degrees you want to go for take that course read those articles news oh my god this is very important news know what is happening in and around you know what the economy is saying guys a lot of time people don't really we people of our age don't really like mm, fancy news but that's like a very not it's not too good especially if you're in in the process of leveling up because you will be investing and the socioeconomic activities of the day you know determines the economic um, boost and maybe downfall and so listening to the news will help you understand you know more about um the economy and basically help you with investment decisions and yeah so that is for educating yourself and growing one very important and not to look down aspect of leveling up is networking oh my god networking guys you need to finally leave the room see you need you need to stand up from your bed you need to you need to take your bath you need to dress up you need to hang out